Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back with another video. And today, this is just a hypothetical, right? Just a hypothetical. This is just a hypothetical video. Yeah, you can just take it with a grain of salt. Everything is a ledge, a ledge, a ledge. But I was watching Star live stream, the Star Report on YouTube. Y'all can definitely go check out his channel. Um, and he just brought up an interesting theory. All right, just a theory about allegedly what if Africa Bambata was behind Hassan Campbell getting shot in Bronx River, right? Um, we all know the situation between Hassan Campbell and Africa Bambata, right? So, you know, that's what still to this day, years later, uh, Hassan Campbell still talks about, but instead of because he's the main one talking about Cassie. Y'all paying attention to Cassie. Y'all, Cassie got $30 million, but I ain't got nothing. You know, uh, y'all, uh, Cassie got more attention than me. So he's really upset that Cassie got a settlement on, you know, taking P. Diddy to court. But he didn't. Well, last time I checked, you didn't take Africa and Bambada to court. You just went to the internet and you made your money. So it's not like you didn't uh, gain f financially um, benefits from making a YouTube channel. You got a successful YouTube, you get numbers, you getting paid. So even though you didn't get a settlement from the courts, I mean, you still getting paid to tell your story. So I don't know why he keeps referring, well, when he was going off in Bronx River, when he got allegedly shot, he was bringing up Cassie, Cassie, Cassie all the time, right? But anyway, that being said, uh, Star is going to bring up an interesting point. Let's listen to what he got to say. Good afternoon, Troll Babies. How you guys doing? Skylar Saunders, I see you. Skylar, do you want to tap in at some point? Shoot me a text message. Okay, let's talk about it. And to my knowledge, um, Hassan Campbell, I haven't been his page uh, since he did something from the hospital and he showed the bullet. I have not been up to speed on what's going on with him. Is he okay, guys? Uh, well... <laughs> Yeah, I, he just made a video today. Well, yesterday, you know, given his side of the story. Yeah, I, yeah, I. I'm not laughing, pardon me, pardon me, but you know, he's, he's, he's doing what he does. And, and that's a good thing. He's putting it all on the line. Um, and, and I do believe he was touched. Matter of fact, let, let me take a minute here to, to break down my theory about why I think Bambata sent a message to Hassan Campbell. We re allegedly. This is all allegedly. I mean, but this is Star Reports. You know perspective so just an interesting concept recently saw him days ago um uh, you know just doing the most i'll just say that in front of the bronx river houses okay that's mm -hmm. a project area in the bronx and um the next thing you know a cut and then he's driving to the hospital so he said and then a day or so later we see a video of him he's, he's looking in the camera <laughs> stop staring in the camera <laughs> but that nigga Yo, one one weird thing about Hassan Campbell, he always looks at himself in the camera. That's how narcissistic he is. Like instead of like he, he stares at himself in the camera every single time, even in the picture that you see right here, you can see him looking at himself every single video. He just looks at himself. Very, very weird, very narcissistic. Profiling profiling. Um and he shows a bullet in a plastic bag. He then shows someone else who's sleeping in the hospital room. I guess that was his homie who held him down. I don't know that guy's name. I believe he was indeed touched. He was touched. He was doing too much, okay? But with- Absolutely was doing too much. Within the time frame of the less than 30 minute video in Bronx River Houses where Africa Bambata is still respected, almost a godlike figure. Mm. I do believe somebody reached out to Bam and said, hey, yo, Bam, poppy downstairs. And Bam, who, you know, may or may not have, I have no proof, may have said, really? Really? And then the person may have spoken to someone else, or maybe the person went downstairs, handled that, I don't know. Poppy, where is the video footage? You're missing footage. We want to see everything. He's doing these little edit jobs, you know, from the hospital, right? Right? He's doing edit jobs. We want to see everything. Um, now, I'm not going to say that Bam Bada said, do something to him. Again, I have no proof. But Bam This is all alleged, all alleged. Bam is one of them old school niggas. He's older than me. But, you know, we, we don't play these social media games. You can talk all hella crazy. But if I see you in the flesh or if I can get to you, <laughs> shit's going to happen. Okay? 
And I, th I think, you know, someone may have said, yo, you want me to handle something for you? And Bam may have said, well, I'm not asking you to do anything, but if something were to happen, you know, it, it, that would be a, a wonderful thing. I'll just say that. Mm. And pow, there we go. Phone lines open right now. Uh, I think that's full. Of so interesting. What do y'all think about that? You know, because uh, Hassan, you know, he still talks about that situation. And he, he was in Bronx River telling people to pull up where the goons at, where the wolves at. You know, he was he was asking for trouble. Even in his video that he made yesterday, he said that he wanted to die. He wanted to meet it. He wanted to be with his mother. Um, so and he said he was on a suicide mission. That's what he said out of his own mouth. So that being said, you know, what do you think about Star Reports theory? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Just a theory. Allegedly. No proof. Just just a theory. Y'all leave a comment down below. It's your boy, DMD.